Next book is called Curious George Roller Coaster. Curious George can't wait to ride the Turbo Python 3000 with his friends Betsy and Steve. Let's see how this works out. And with Marcus looking for some feet. Curious George Roller Coaster. Adaptation by Monica Perez. Based on the TV series Teleplay. Written by Lazar Sarek. George woke his friend up early. Today was a special day. They were going to Zany Island. George was curious about riding the roller coaster. It was called the Turbo Python 3000. It looked scary and fun. Betsy and Steve had ridden it nine times. They invited George to ride with them. But there was a problem. George was too short. The man at the gate said George needed to be five candy strings tall to ride. George was only four. How could George grow one candy string in a day? Maybe he could eat leaves like a giraffe. Giraffes were tall. Yuck! The leaves tasted bad. George took a bite of his candy string. Candy tasted better. What else could he do to grow? George thought exercising might help. He lifted a heavy bar. Then George measured himself. He was now four and a half candy strings tall. George wondered if stretching would make him grow. He tried it. By this time, George was very tired. He nibbled on his candy some more. George saw a mother and baby. The mother told the baby that sleep would help him grow. So George took a nap too. When he woke, he measured again. Hooray! He was finally five candy strings tall. But the sign said he was still too short to ride. How could that be? Have you been biting your candy strings, George? The man with the yellow hat asked. George nodded. When the candy strings were longer, it took four to measure you. The man explained. Now that the candy strings are shorter, it takes more of them to measure you. Five. But you did not grow. George was so disappointed. Captain Zany, the park owner, walked by. When he heard about George's problem, he smiled. Since monkeys don't grow very tall, we have a special sign for them. Was George tall enough now? You bet he was. Alright boys and girls, we have a sign here that says chart your height. Start with a very long sheet of butcher paper or cut open some paper grocery bags and tape them together. Take a ruler or yardstick and draw a line down the edge of the longest side of the paper. Mark off the inches all the way up to the line. Decorate your chart with paints, markers, crayons, or stickers. Before you hang the chart on the wall, measure two feet up from the ground and mark the wall lightly with pencil. Leave the space empty. Place your chart so that its bottom is at the two foot mark. Write two feet at the bottom of your chart and label every 12th inch as three feet, four feet, five feet, etc. Then stand against the chart and have a parent or friend mark your current height. With a pen or par permanent ink on the chart, label the line with the date and your age. Now when people ask, you can tell them exactly how tall you are. <laughs> 